Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome back to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Did you hear that? Let's see what the Magic Mailbox brought us today. Octopants. This is such a silly story. I can't wait to read it to you. If you have your own copy, go grab it and we'll read it together. You're going to love this one. Octopants. Octopants was written by Susie Senior and illustrated by Claire Powell. Hello there. I'm an octopus. There's something you should know. I don't have any underpants. I have nothing on below. <gasps> I tried to buy some octopants. I tried all over town. But everyone just laughed and laughed or answered with a frown. Underpants? For you? They said. Oh no, we don't have any. The problem seems to be your legs. You just have six too many. There's that magical sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Oh, it's a picture of an octopus. Octo means eight. And they tell the octopus he has six too many. So we have two legs as human beings and people and kids, but octopus have eight. So let's see if he has six too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he didn't have those six, how many would he have? Two, that's right. And then it would be a whole lot easier to find underpants, wouldn't it? Well, let's see what else happens to the octopus. I've even tried to shop online. I tried to surf the net. I found a cod, three tuna, and my credit card got wet. I still could not find octopants. It almost made me cry. Everyone has underpants except for octopi. There's that sound again. I can't wait to see what the magic mailbox brought us. Oh, what a cool octopus. It's so sad that he can't find any underpants, isn't it? Did you know that I have actually swam where there was an octopus before? It was so cool seeing them move around in the ocean. If you watch to the end, I'll show you some video of the octopus that I saw in the ocean. All right, well, let's get back to the story. But then one day I found a place I hadn't seen before. A seahorse hovered just inside the huge revolving door. Good morning. Can I help you, sir? Why don't you step inside? My undersea emporium is famous ocean-wide. There we go again. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. A seahorse. Kind of looks like the one from the story, doesn't it? Do you think that that seahorse is going to help the octopus find some underpants? I sure hope so. Well, let's find out. I have bobble hats for barnacles and evening wear for eels. Onesies just for urchins and slipper socks for seals. Jewelry for jellyfish. Water wings for whales and rainbow paint for rainbow trout to brighten up their scales. There we go again. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Paint brushes. <laughs> that store has everything, doesn't it? I like how he said he has paint for the rainbow trout to paint their scales and slipper socks for the seals. 
He's carrying everything in his store. I sure hope he can help the octopus find what he needs. Well, let's find out. Yes, I have clothes for everyone with spots and stripes and rockets, pirate ships and sparkly bits, and lots of handy pockets. Now, underwear for you, sir? I think you've been misled. Perhaps you don't need octopants, but something else instead. And then I saw the problem. I've looked at this all wrong. These legs weren't legs. These legs were arms and had been all along. Hello there. I'm an octopus and now my day is better. Instead of buying underpants, I bought an octo sweater. The end. Thank you for joining me today to read Octo Pants. Wasn't this such a fun story? That poor octopus, he was confused the whole time. He didn't have eight legs. He had eight arms. I love how he got an octo sweater at the end. Well, thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to check back to see what other things that come in Gigi's magic mailbox. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.